electricity current in circuit an electrical circuit is in the connection of four or more electrical components used to achieve a desired result by allowing electric charge flow through them it is a network of interconnecting electrical components in an electrical circuit, current voltage and resistance are the three basic properties we look out for. These properties allow us to calculate needed value for various elements in a circuit. Basically, there are four parts of a circuit. First is the conducting wire, such as a copper. They carry charges throughout the entire circuit. Second is the source of EM, such as the batteries. Third is the element such as the resistor capacitors, die with another load. Fourth is a switch, which controls the flow of the electrons in the circuit. A switch can be closed or open at any time. A closed circuit allows electron flow throughout the entire circuit, thus allowing the loads to work. An open circuit creates an air gap, thereby stopping the electron flow. The load cannot work on an open circuit. Current an electrical current is a quantity of electricity per second flowing past a point. In other words, the number of charged particles that pass by each second is what we refer to as the current. Mathematically, current I equals Q over T, where Q in columns is the quantity of electricity flowing through in a given time in seconds. That is, one column is the quantity of electric charge that passes through a given section in a second when a steady current of 1 amp flows for 1 second. Mathematically, this Q equals I times T. That's 1 amp equals 1 coulomb per second. When current flow in a circuit, we show this by adding arrows. The arrow shows the direction of flow in a circuit. By convention, we say that the charge flows from positive terminal on the battery to the negative terminal. The carriers of electricity. In metals, they are carried by electrons. In electrolyte, they are carried by positive and negative ion. In gases, such as local gases or ionized gases, they are carried by ions. In semiconductors, electricity is carried by electrons and holes. Charges is measured by Charles Collins in 1785. An electron is the smallest known carrier of charge. An electron charge is equivalent to 1.66 measure negative 19 coulombs. In other words, one amp of current in a metal is due to the flow of about 1 over 1.6 exponential negative 19 or 6.5 exponential 18 electrons per second past the point. That is, number of charge in one coulomb equals the quantity of charge divided by the electron charge, which is equal to 6.25 exponential 18. Current measuring devices. An ammeter is an instrument used for measuring current, while a galvanometer is a very sensitive detector or measure of very small current. To convert a galvanometer to an ammeter, we must connect a suitable low resistor in parallel with the galvanometer. This is known as a shunt. A shunt is a low resistant wire that allows small current to pass through. Potential difference. Potential difference is the difference in the electrical potential per unit charge between two points, or it is a difference between the value of potential energy at two points in an electrical circuit. Potential difference is required to make current flow. Its unit is a volt. Voltage measuring device. A voltmeter is used for measuring EMFs and the PV. A galvanometer can also be used to detect voltage. To convert a galvanometer to a voltmeter, the galvanometer must be connected in series with a multiplier or a high resistor. Resistance. Resistance is the ability of the material to oppose the flow of electricity through it. Resistance slows down the flow of charge in a circuit. It is how it is in ohms. At the quantum level, electrons moving through the conductor collide with the particles of which the conductor is made. When they collide, they transfer kinetic energy. 
the electrons therefore lose kinetic energy and slow down, thus leading to resistance. The transferred energy causes the conductor to heat up. An example of this effect can be felt when you touch a mobile phone charger when charging. So what are resistors and how important are they? A resistor is a two-terminal electrical component that poses electrical resistance when part of a closed circuit. A nometer is an instrument used for measuring electrical resistance. Unlike the voltage thermometer, it is used in an open circuit. An important effect of a resistor is that it converts electrical energy into other forms of energy, such as heat and light. Here we have resistors painted in different colors. It's not meant to be defined alone, but these colors enables us to determine the value of the resistor without even measuring it. Here is a resistor color code. First, we have a four band color code. These are resistors that have four different colors in them. Next is the five band color code, which have five colors in them. And finally, we have the six band color code, which have six colors in them. You could pause the video and try to study Ohm's law. Ohm's law states that the ratio of the potential difference across a conductor to the current flowing in it is always a constant, provided its physical conditions such as temperature are unaltered. It can also be stated as the electrical current flowing through a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference between its ends, provided its physical conditions such as temperature and pressure remain constant. Here's an analogy to show you that. If the water flowing out of here is a current, and the volume of water which gives the pressure to the water is the voltage, then we would say that the volume of water in the reservoir is directly proportional to the flow of the water from the outlet. So, if we decide to increase the volume of water in the reservoir, we would see that the quantity of water in the outlet increases. So, the more the voltage, the more the current. So here's a graph to explain that. The more the voltage, the more the current. That is Ohm's law, and it gives us a straight line graph. On graph B, this doesn't obey Ohm's law, which means the temperature or pressure has altered this graph. Let's solve a problem on Ohm's law. A current of 8 amps is driven by a potential difference of 240 volts in the heating coil of an electrical cooker. What is the resistance of this cooker's coil? Calculate the current in the coil if the potential difference applied to the coil is 240 volt. Solution. Since the potential difference was 240 volt and the current equals 8 times, then by definition, we say that resistance R equals to V over I, which implies 240 divided by 8 equals 30 ohms B. Since we know that the resistance R equals to 30 ohms, the current flowing with an applied PD of 220 volt becomes R equals V over R, which is 220 volts divided by 30 ohms equals to 7.33 ohms. Measurement of resistance The resistance of a wire can be measured by Ohm's law using the ammeter voltmeter method. The diagram shows a circuit for measure resistance of a resistor R. By using a voltmeter and an ammeter A, the readings can be varied by altering the real start S. Then, we use R equals V over I. Where R is the resistance in ohms, and V is the potential difference V in volts, and I is current flowing in amps. While conducting this experiment, here are some precautions you should take. 1. Ensure that all connections are tight. 2. Take note of zero errors on all measuring instruments and correct them. If that proves impossible, replace the device. 3. Keep your key switch open when not taking read. 4. Avoid parallax error on measuring devices. 5. You must repeat your readings. Question time. 1. What is an electric circuit? 2. What are the major parts of an electric circuit? 3. In your own words, define the following and state their measuring instruments. Current Voltage Resistance 4. State Ohm's law and express it mathematically.
5. Take a snapshot of a register you can find around and tell its value. See you in our next class.